Okay, so here we are. This evening we're going to cook a very, very sort of Mediterranean meal. We're going to do milanese, a chicken milanese, which is a um, chicken that is, that's mine, thanks Mrs T. Um, a chicken that is uh, cooked in breadcrumbs with some uh, basil. And then we're going to serve. Then we're going to serve it up with a nice rocket salad, some mozzarella, and some tomatoes, with a drizzle of lemon over the top, and some fresh basil as well. There we go. So drizzle again. So drizzle. Oh. Yeah. There we go. So anyway, um, that's it. And um, of course, it's going to be cooked on the Kadak Safari Chef too. So. Um, there's the ingredients and I'm now going to take you through how we're going to prepare it and then of course how we're going to cook it. Now, first of all we need one of these again. I've used these before in the, in the videos. These are the zipper um, medium freezer bags really or all-purpose bags. They're from Bako Foil and these come really handy when you're preparing food. I don't know if you saw my um, tandoori salmon um, vlog and these were invaluable actually in preparing that so they are a really good thing to have both at home and inside uh, your caravan or your motorhome or your camping pack. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these chicken breasts and I think only one of these will um, do us today for, um, for dinner tonight and we're going to really cut it in half butterfly it out so we're going to take it and turn it into a butterfly then we're going to place it in That's the bag clever. you can turn a chicken into a butterfly a dead chicken into a butterfly like that. <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> you, you stupid woman <laughs> okay and then i'm going to bash the hell out of it um, <laughs> and kill it again nice. <laughs> and then uh, i'm going to go through the process of how we can prepare that to put that onto the kadak so let me just get a few things together and we'll come back to you again. Right, okay. Where I just turned around and said that I was going to butterfly them, I meant I was going to slice them open so I could spread them out ready for bashing. These, I've taken them out of the packet. They're not particularly thick um, um, chicken breasts. So um, I'm not going to par them out and, and split them before I, I, I bash them. I'm going to just put them in the bag and hit them um, while they're like this. Pure and simply because there won't be enough. But if you get a really big, plump chicken breast, <laughs> then you can easily slice it and open it up and give it a bash. And then there's enough there for two. But these, I think we're going to have to use um, use the two separate ones. No, it's not a bad thing. We just need to make sure that we've got enough for dinner. So what we need to do is place these chicken breasts in the bag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of these at a time. So just place that into the bag like that, seal the bag and then what we need to do is to bash that and I think the term might be to tenderize it, I really don't know. Um, with usually sort of either a cooking mallet or a um, um, a tenderizer. Uh, tenderizer or a rolling pin. Um, some people like to use an empty wine bottle Don't to you give dare. it a good tap. Oh. Um, I prefer not to because all you need to do is catch that by mistake and you could break it. So as I've got neither <laughs> and because this is safe and it is in a um, in a bag so my hammer won't come in contact with the chicken i'm going to use my hammer that i put the temp pegs in with not on there you're not not oh no no because i've been told by mrs t Absolutely that not. she doesn't think this is hard enough for me to bash out on <laughs> no. so i'm going to do it on the step of yes, the caravan thank you so let's just change scene shall we Okay, there's the caravan step. I was going to place this tea towel on it because I wanted to make it look nicer because that didn't look nice. But I'm going to place the tea towel now over the caravan step. Well, that's why I said they wouldn't be able to tell it was a step well, if you put the tea towel was. on. And then I've got the chicken there on my board and I've got my mallet I'm here. I'm going to move my head out of the way. <laughs> right, I'm not going to thwack it. Oh, I thought you were. All I'm going to use this side of the mallet and don't forget this is not coming in contact with the chicken. So I just want to gently just bash that out 
and flatten it out. You can see, look, I'm not even putting any pressure on that. For some reason, I thought you were going to bash it like you bash a tent peg. Oh, for God's sake, the woman really needs to. And it's just really just bashing that, just letting the weight of this, anyway, because obviously it's heavy enough, just spread that chicken out and tenderize it, just like that. Okay, there's the first one. I'm going to come back into the kitchen now and show you what that is like when we take it out of the bag. Okay, so let's take this out of the bag. And as you see, it's obviously grown in size, but it's an even flatness all over. So that's the first one we've done. So you can see that it's a good it's piece huge, of chicken. It? it is huge. So I'm going to do exactly the same to that second piece. And I'm going to do it outside on the step. Um, I'm not necessarily going to show you that because obviously we need to keep the video relatively um, short. So I'm just going to pop out and do that. And then once I've done that, I'll come back in and we'll go on to the next step. And there we have it, one bashed up chicken again. So just take that out of the bag. And you can see again, what I've done is I've just squashed it out, given it a bit of a bash, tenderized it, and that's now ready to go. So what do we need to do next? What we need to do is we need to dip these in flour, then in some egg yolks or a whisked egg, and then we need to dip them in some breadcrumbs. And I'm using here, again, purely and simply for ease of use, some Paxo golden breadcrumbs because they're easy for us to bring away from home. And uh, take the lid off, you can see they're nice and golden. And I just do add a few extra things to these breadcrumbs when I put them on the plate. I'm going to chop up some basil just to put in them, some fresh basil. Basil? Basil. And give a bit of a grind on some pepper to go in there as well. So I'm going to prepare those plates. And uh, again, we're going to come back to you in just a few minutes once they are ready and I can show you what to do. Okay, so I've got three plates. I've got one egg yolk on there beaten up. Now I may need a second, but I'm just going to try this with one to start off with. I've got some flour on there, which is plain flour. And then we've got some of the breadcrumbs that we've sprinkled on here as well. Now with the breadcrumbs, I'm going to add some pepper. So give a twist of pepper onto the breadcrumbs, just so it's that little bit of seasoning that goes in there. I don't want to add any salt at this point because um, there's some salt in the mozzarella and um, you can always add salt to your taste. Um, but a little bit of pepper does give it um, just that little bit of extra oomph. Now what I've also done is over here, I've got the um, basil plant. I've taken some basil leaves, I've placed them on there and I've just given them a fine chop like this, just to get those chopped into little bits. So I'm just gonna add those chopped bits of basil in there as well. I'll get the bits off the floor later. Yeah, I'm sure you will, that's what you're there for. <laughs> okay. And just... What is it they say, girls never marry a chef. There's so much washing up to do afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, this is a bit this is the busiest I think I've seen you in your in your caravan kitchen. Yeah. And just add all that in there and just rub that basil into those breadcrumbs and then that will just start to infuse that fresh basil flavour into that. And as I said, this is a bit of a Mediterranean dish. I think uh, chicken milanese is an Italian dish, but um, yeah, there you go. So what we've got in there, we've got some basil, we've got some pepper, and we've got the breadcrumbs. And now we're ready to go. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the chicken, we're going to dip it into the flour, we're going to bring it over to the break, uh, to the egg yolk, then we're going to bring it into the breadcrumbs. You see, I thought you did it the other way around. Oh, yeah, you first. see, no. Mm -hmm. So um, let's take the first one. Mm -hmm. Let's do the little one first. So there's your bread, uh, there's your piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. So take that into the flour. Oh, another hoover up job later. Yeah, there you go. I like to keep you busy, Mrs. T. You've mm -hmm. got to earn. So make sure that that is all there in that flour. Give it a bit of a shake, like that. And then go from there straight into your egg. Make sure that that egg 
covers the entire chicken breast. You get it all over that flour, okay? And then go straight from there into those breadcrumbs. And just get those breadcrumbs all over that piece of chicken, okay? So you can actually see what's happened there. That's now coated in breadcrumbs. Make sure you get all the breadcrumbs around the edges, get it all coated nicely. And you've got all that fresh basil in there as well. Look at that. So there we go. Take that over again. You're going to have to put just some more tap that in. Don't I don't think so. I think no? we should just have mm -hmm. enough. All right. And then you can take that from that plate and pop that back onto your original preparation dish. Take the second one. Drop that into your flour. Make sure you get the flour all round it. Make sure that you don't throw flour all over the caravan, obviously. <laughs> See, when I do cooking at home, Mrs. T is not usually there. <laughs> she just comes into a room full of destruction. I do. Absolutely, I do. There you go. Take that like that. And then pop that into the egg. So that one egg is more than sufficient for these two chicken breasts. Coat that over like that. Yeah, you're a bit worried that you wouldn't have enough egg, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, Make good. sure that you've got that all over there. Now I'm just going to... You need to that up on No, I think we okay. should be okay. And then drain that egg off there. Pop that onto there. Just tap that in. And then tap. Oh, yeah. 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 I think we've got plenty in there. Move it around a bit. Try and get all those bits of breadcrumbs on all. On the chicken and not the caravan. On the chicken yeah. and on mm -hmm. not the caravan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you should never let a woman in the kitchen. Oh, hang on a second, Ooh. hang on a second. Oh, right, right, yes. When a man is cooking. Oh right. Thank you very much. Yes. There's a bit there that's not really egged, so let's get some egg on that. <laughs> so, mind you, I don't, I don't argue too much because at least I get fed. Yeah, yeah. I'd starve without Mr. And T. then just place that on that plate, and there we are now ready to go to the Kadak. But before we do that, I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge just for a few minutes while I attempt to clear this mess up. You mean I'm gonna clear the mess up? While we clear the mess Excellent. up. Excellent. And then we'll have the Kadak set up and then we'll be ready to actually start cooking that and serving that up. So catch you up, or we'll catch up with you again in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are with the Kadak all set up. We're on full blast as fast as heat is concerned. We've got the, gri uh, the grill on there tonight and we're going to use good old trusted uh, barbecue mat there from Twisted Chef. So place that on the top and then just a little, just a tiny drop, that's all, drizzle of virgin oil just on the top. That's all I'm saying. We don't need lots, we don't need masses, just a little drizzle on there like that. And then once we've got that, this should then be really hot. Just give it a couple of seconds, just for that oil just to start to, uh, to heat through. Then we've got the chicken. So this is the chicken that we made earlier. Here's what I made earlier. Um, so we've just taken this back out of the fridge. It's taken us about 10 minutes just to clear up my mess from inside the van, Mrs. T. Less than, Less than 10 minutes, yeah, there you go. Fine. So it hasn't been in there long, so it's just been in there. And all we're going to do now is just take this and pop this on that barbecue mat and start to cook it. Now, obviously this chicken is not particularly thick, so it doesn't take a long time for this to cook. So that's also another good thing about actually cooking this meal because it doesn't take long to cook. And you'll soon start to hear that start to sizzle away, but let's let that get on. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to, just do a little preparation here for the salad. And this is again, is very, very simple. All we need here, I've got some fresh rocket from the supermarket, pop that onto a plate. And I like to use rocket because it's got that sort of peppery flavor. I thought you were gonna put the rocket on each on each plate rather no, than. No, I'm going to make a salad so we can help ourselves. Okay. okay. Now I'm also going to take Ooh. a few basil leaves just to put in with that rocket, um, just to give it and carry on with that sort of Mediterranean taste. I'm just going to sort of 
break those up and just sprinkle oh, it those. It smells so lovely when you do that, the basil. Oh, basil, it's, it's mm. one of the loveliest mm. um, herbs, it really is. And just a tip while I'm here, if you ever get a basil plant like this, and you're getting to the stage where you feel as if you're not going to use it all, take the leaves off, mm. pop them in a plastic pot and put them in the freezer. They will freeze as a leaf. Mm -hmm. Then when you want to use that, say in the winter, you can take a leaf out of the mm. freezer and because it is frozen, mm. you can then just crumble it into your food and you have that fresh basil flavour as did well. That last year, yeah, didn't we you? did that. Yeah. So it's just so it doesn't get necessarily get uh, wasted. So that really is a good Can you do that with tip. mint leaves as well? Yeah, you can do that. Mint, all sorts. Mm. And then we've got the mozzarella here. Just looking after me pins for the winter. <laughs> this mozzarella is from a um, supermarket. Um, we've got this at Albert Hein here in Holland. And I'm just going to take it out there and pop that oh, onto a plate. See if I can do this without making too much of a mess. There we go. And then all I'm good. going to do is just slice that. See, just slice that mozzarella. Doesn't take a lot to do that. Slice that. And then just place that in chunks over the top of that rocket and that fresh basil. Look at that. Why do chef's hands always make it look so lovely? I've got an idea. Slice mm. some cherry tomatoes. Pop that on the top it's there as well. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. You just hear that catch up and start to sizzle. A few cherry tomatoes on there. Really, this is quite a healthy meal. Mm. Nice summer evening meal, certainly for campsites in the caravan or the motor home perfect for the evening so like that so you've got the rocket in there you've got the tomato in there you've got that basil in there mm -hmm. you've got the mozzarella and then just a final touch oh. just a tiny tiny little drizzle of virgin olive oil on the top extra extra virgin. extra virgin we've got extra virgins in that one olive oil. <laughs> on the top and that's all you need to do that's your salad ready for when we prepare so back to the chicken mm -hmm. let's take this now and just flip this over you'll see how that's starting to cook look mm. at that you can see again using that twisted chef barbecue mm. mat you still get those marks on there from the barbecue so it does everything that you want it to do turn that over again let's just leave that there now, one other little thing that I'm going to add at this point, and I haven't bought it out of the caravan yet, so you're going to put me on pause now, please, Mrs. T. Yes. Well, oh, gone. Oh, okay. Right. So here's the thing I left. Ah. It's a lemon. Just want you to squeeze some lemon on this while it's cooking. So we've cooked this side a little bit. We're going to squeeze some lemon, fresh lemon on there, like that. And then when we flip that again, we're just going to squeeze some fresh lemon on the other side. And again, that just adds that little bit of Italian cooking to it, that Mediterranean feel, that lemon, that basil, the chicken, you know, with the mozzarella. It's just such an easy, light meal to have. So we're cooking there. Let's give that another flip over. So this doesn't need long to cook. It really doesn't. Okay. That's because you've got flat chicken, I suppose. And then let's put some more lemon juice on there. And don't forget this lemon juice because it not only is it there and it gives you that sort of Mediterranean flavour and summer flavour, but it does just help keep some of this moist as well. And I've just noticed I've got a couple of pips on there which I'm going to take off. And also at this point, I'm just going to add another slight drizzle of olive, olive, olive oil. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. Just on the top there. Just to keep that nice and moist. And the whole idea now is just to keep turning this. So let's turn that over again. Just keep turning that. The other side again. If we can squeeze some more. Have you got any more left in that lemon? Yeah. It's 
Squeeze some more of that lemon out of there. So it doesn't take long for this to cook because it's quite flat. And we just another drizzle of that olive oil over the top. And that should be it. Just another couple of flips either side. And I'm going to turn the gas down now, just a low. I think everything's reached its height, temperature wise. Let's flip that over again. Lovely. Oh, they lost the mat then. They lost the mat. One more flip there. And you can see how those breadcrumbs are really starting to go golden brown now. You can see all that fresh basil that's in there as well. And all that lemon juice as well that's going to be in there with that chicken. This really is going to be an absolutely lovely summer's evening meal. Glorious. What's it smell like, Mrs. T? Lovely. Yeah, mm. absolutely. That's Brilliant. Nice. Buzzing around here, loved it too. Yeah, so mm. we'll just carry on with this. We'll do another couple of flips and then we'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so another three or four minutes. We've just been tidying up. We've been also uh, flipping it over from one side to the other. Now ready to serve these up. Just look at that. That is so, so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Two really nice pieces of chicken. And you've got all that basil and lemon and virgin oil on there as well. Lay that on the table. And look at that. Absolutely, what a wonderful summer's evening meal. Very light, a couple of glasses of wine. We've got that rocket and that basil in that salad with the mozzarella and the tomato. Again, with a bit of a drizzle of oil over the top. Some really nice chicken breasts that we turned into that Milanese chicken. And that's it. That, that really is another very simple meal that you can cook on that Kadak. Agree with that, Mrs. C? Absolutely. Yeah, sorry, Mrs. T. Anyway, there you go. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up. We would really, really appreciate it. Um, please hit that red button and Which subscribe. One? That one, okay. any of those red buttons there, yeah. and subscribe. <laughs> because the more you subscribe, the more we can bring to you. And it's important for us to be able to bring lots of things like this to you on a regular basis. Thank you very, very much for watching. We hope to see you again soon. And bye for now.